I didn't see you there. I was just finishing painting this marble table by hand. Maggie Green and you're on a channel that talks about art and creativity every Monday. Yes, I know it's Wednesday. I flubbed, I flubbed up big time. If you're looking for an art channel that's all tutorials and no fun, you're in the wrong place, friend. Go somewhere else. Here on this channel, we like to have fun, so hit that subscribe button and like this video if you do, and let's get to the tutorial. My coffee table here has been scratched up by dogs. Just so you can see, the coffee table needs some help. I'm gonna use a power sander to start to take away some of the gouges that were made by my dog's claws, and then we're going to prime it, and then we're going to do some pour art on it, which is so exciting. I'm gonna try to make it look like marble um, with some white and gray and black paints. So you're gonna see what the pour art looks like on top of the table at the very end of this video. So stay tuned. All right, here we go. Okay, so then I got some nice all-in-one primer and sealer that I'm gonna use to coat the top of this so that I can get that nice smooth surface and get ready for the pour art. Is this cream cheese good, Meg? Oh, probably not. Yeah. We went to Home Depot and we got some plastic sheet. It was only $2 and we were able to cover the floor with it and then cut some pieces to cover the edges of the table so that when we tip it like this and like this, then none of the paint is gonna get on the legs. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take my painter's tape and go around the corners so that I kinda create a little bit of a border for the paint like this. So you can see the paint will be able to gather right on the inside corner of this tape. And, um, and then when I've poured all the paint on the surface and I like the way it looks, then I'll remove the tape and it'll drip down the edge and continue the poured design. So here we go. All right, so I've never made pour art before, but I watched an online tutorial about it and I got some Elmer's glue right here and some just craft acrylic paint. And um, I have a couple of containers. This has a bunch of water in it right now because I'm gonna mix that with the glue. And then after we finished all the pour art and it's all dry and everything, we're gonna use this polycrylic we decided to use the satin finish because I'm trying to achieve a look of kind of like marble. It's like white marble. And I figured it's probably not glossy. So satin seems about right. All right, so I guess what I'm supposed to do is take the glue and mix it with water and try to get kind of a runny, whoops, a runny consistency. So, I'm just gonna go for it because I don't need this glue for anything else in my life. So I'm <laughs> just gonna fill this all up. And put some water in. It's kinda, kinda watery, but it's not too watery. So, all right, so now this is our medium. And now we're gonna mix our colors and so, I am going to, it's mostly gonna be white. So I'm supposed to mix half paint with half medium. So all right, we're gonna need a lot of this because this is a pretty big table. <laughs> I think I have enough because I have bonus paint right here. So Okay, so right now I'm gonna try to have equal parts paint and medium. So it's gonna use up a lot of my medium. That seems, seems about right. Okay, so we're finished with the white. Now, I only want a little bit of each of the other colors. 
Um, so, I'm gonna do a gray one. And then just a little bit of rose gold. All right, this is just gonna give it a little bit of a metallic, a little bit of a color change. All right, and then just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of black, and I'm just gonna put that in here. I really don't want this to be very black. I want it to be mostly the other colors, so. All right. Now I'll mix all that stuff up. I am going to create what's called a dirty pour, and that means that I'm gonna take all the colors that I mixed up here, and, oops, there so you can see, and I'm gonna put them in this one, and I'm not gonna mix it beforehand, I'm just gonna pour them in, starting with the color that I want the most of. Oops. And then just kind of pouring it in. So you can see, I don't know what's gonna happen when I, oh, oh, oh. all right, <laughs> that'll be part of it. And I don't know what's gonna happen when all these come together, but that's the fun of a dirty pour. Okay, a little bit of black. Okay, all right. And then we've got some left over so that we can freestyle afterward. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the pour. Here's my dirty pour and there's the glob mess from before. All right, and here we go. Oh, well I can already see I didn't have enough white paint, right? This is not gonna cover it all. We're gonna freestyle. Smoosh it and then we'll have, yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Oh, but it does, it, it, but I think it'll drip over it. Okay. <laughs> it's funny where you, where you rubbed your hand, it, it resists going there. Oh, okay. No, no more white, Meg. It's too white. It's too white over here. You need some distraction. I like the white. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Woo! Now, what about these bubbles? Are know. they going to settle? I think we should pop them. settled on the way that the top should look, we removed the tape and let the paint drip down the sides of the table like this. And I just used my finger to kind of maneuver the paint a little bit here and there. But uh, mostly this is just dripped paint. Okay, so it's been two days and the table has dried. My plan right now is to sand it so that it's super smooth and then I'm gonna coat it with that polycrylic so it'll be all shiny and uniformly glossy. Uh, some areas of this table got painted a little bit in the process, so I'm just gonna remove that with a hot water paper towel and my fingernail. The lady at Home Depot told me to only mix the polycrylic with a paint stirrer to not shake it. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, good on the top, so time to go around the edges. Okay, so it's been about 24 hours. I'm gonna put the second coat on this table. 
I'm gonna try to move faster this time than I did last time because I noticed some areas dried faster than others. And I want it to look perfect. Let me know in the comments if you did this or if you liked this video. I'll catch you next week.